Hey y'all, welcome back to Adventuring with Amanda. Thank you so much for being here. If you are new to my channel, welcome. In this video, we are testing out the Hot Logic mini oven that is actually meant for vehicles. I purchased this on Amazon Prime Day for only $16. I've been hearing about them for three years now and decided that it was time for me to purchase my own. I could not pass up that deal. So I'm going to be testing it with my 600 watt VTOMIN power station. Even though I'm in my house, I want to test it out to make sure that it will work with my power station setup before I get on the road. So the Hot Logic comes with your own little uh, plastic Tupperware here uh, for leftovers. Typically, the Hot Logic is used for leftovers as well as microwave meals and frozen dinners. It comes with a quick start guide, and then that is it. In the bottom here, there is a hot plate, and of course, it is insulated. Now, I thought it was going to be a 12 volt plug, but it's not. It's actually a regular AC plug. But thankfully, my Vitomin 600 watt power station does have that capability. So let me show you what I'm going to heat up. So recently, I started eating these home chef meals. They are fresh food. This is not frozen. It's refrigerated, and these are microwavable. I've been purchasing them at Fry's Marketplace in the deli section. They are very healthy and very delicious. They range anywhere from eight to $12. This is one of the more expensive ones, the four cheese ravioli with creamy lobster sauce, but I'll tell you what, it sure is tasty. Oh, I gotta move it a little bit in there, kinda, kinda shifted. Okay, so the microwave instructions are typically, where did it just go? The microwave instructions typically are to remove the sleeve, of course, which I already did, peel back one corner of the film to vent, uh, place tray on microwave safe plate and the microwave on high for one and a half minutes then again for another one and a half minutes Well, I'm not microwaving it this time. I'm trying it in my hot logic now what I have heard from people is That it generally takes leftovers and cold meals about 30 to 40 minutes to heat up so and also in my experience these are not as you can see it's not very easy to peel back the film on these so I might need to cut it or okay I'll just make do like that okay I just need to vent it so there's that try and shift it a little bit more in here I guess I had it sitting crooked okay now the hot logic does not have any dial any on off button nothing like that it is literally plug and play it is that simple so the instructions say to take your meal, whatever it is, let me take that extra plastic off, put it into the hot logic. So there we go. Still have some space on the side. So it fits a pretty standard uh, frozen meal, Tupperware, um, microwavable dinner type of thing. Zip it up. It does have a nice little handle on it too and then plug it in. So I also need to see how much power this baby is going to be drawing. Make sure it's zipped all the way shut so we can be as efficient as possible. And it looks like it is currently drawing 51 watts. And I'm guessing that it will draw that concurrently, which means that you will need a power station big enough to consistently draw about 50 watts. Right now I'm at 90%. I will check back in about 20 minutes just to see kind of how it's doing and then I'm guessing it'll take another 20 minutes after that. It has been 25 minutes since I started cooking my meal in the Hot Logic. It's used about 4% of my power station, still drawing between 49 and 51 watts. The fan did come on the power station briefly, but I will check back in about five minutes. Alrighty, so my meal has been cooking for 30 minutes now. It has used 5% of my portable power station, and I have to keep in mind that I don't want to be checking it all the time because, of course, when I open the lid on the Hot Logic, the heat is going to escape. Okay, it's coming along. Let's give it a stir here. Mm 
Okay, it's warming up, but it's not quite there yet. So it's been 30 minutes. We'll check on it in 10. I have had my meal cooking now for 45 minutes. I opened it up at 30 minutes and it was warm, but not quite there yet. We've used 8% on my 600 watt power station. So I'm going to open up, open it up and see where we're at. 30 to 45 minutes seems to be kind of the, the typical time for stuff like this. Oh yeah, oh, mm. that is hot. I think it's done, y'all. That's tasty. Like I said, I used about 8%. It was, uh, this power station was at 90% when I started. It used 8% in 45 minutes. So I think that if I use this Vitomin, um, for the most part for this hot logic, I will be able to get several days worth of meals out of it. I eat two of these meals a day because I'm on um, a bit of a health journey right now. So I'm really happy with it. Now it's time to taste test and see if it's all the way down on the inside. I am happy to report that my meal was absolutely fantastic. 45 minutes on my lobster ravioli seems to be about perfect. Here's another example of a home chef meal. This one is blackened chicken and mashed potatoes with protein. I might cook it a little bit longer, but these meals are already cooked. They just need to be heated up. So I hope that this video was helpful to you. Right now, as it stands, I plan to take the Hot Logic in my van with me tomorrow, and I plan ahead for meals, so the timing that it takes is no big deal to me. I'm chilling at camp anyway, so if I feel like eating lunch at noon, I'll just start, uh, I'll just hook up my Hot Logic at 11.15 and let this go and forget about it. Plus, you don't have to do dishes. <laughs> Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. Remember to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I will see you next time.